This is the installation tutorial for the Skillard 240Z front grill. It's available from Skillard.com in raw aluminum or powder coated black. We're going to go through the hardware, what's in the kit, as well as uh, how to put the brackets on and install it on your car. So here's our 240Z grill. This one's in raw aluminum. You can see on this one, I've already got the brackets on it. Here's the lower center bracket. Over here we have the driver side bracket and the passenger side bracket. Here they are off the car just to show you the orientation if it was hard to see with them installed. And here's the bag of hardware that will be included in the kit. All of this is M5 hardware. And you're going to take uh, the M5 button, you're going to secure one through this lower bracket, and you can see this is slotted so it can go back and forth side to side to line up on your car, as well as a vertical slot to help adjust the height. You can see over here, you have that vertical slot on the driver and passenger side brackets as well. Actually gives you about three quarters of an inch of vertical height adjustment that you can do with this. As far as uh, the hardware goes, you're going to slide your M5 through. You can see here which side of the slat the bracket goes on. Washer on each, each side and the M5 all metal lock nuts go on there to tighten it down. These brackets here actually do have a little bit of pitch. So you can see this one isn't tight. So it's just snugged up. So when you get it on the car, you can uh, angle the top of this in and out a little bit before you tighten those down. So next step we're going to do is after we have all the brackets on I'm going to fit it up. It's not actually going to be on a car today it's actually a front clip so I'm going to fit it up on that and show that to you next. So here it is set it on our front clip. I've got our M5 stainless steel hardware threaded in on all of our brackets. It's not tight when this is on your car. You're going to want to make sure that you have the right height on it and you can see that it adjusts up and down. So that way you can uh, move this top slat to get the right gap in between your hood so there's no interference there as well as getting the right alignment on the bottom on this bracket here the reason why we slotted this was because most of these brackets that I have been able to test fit these on have been tweaked or bent somewhat so it seems as though it's a pretty common occurrence so we put this slot across here in case yours was a little tweaked too you can see on this one it's not perfectly centered because this one has a little little tweak to it as well as the other cars we tested this on so wanted to give you that bit of adjustability take a look and so once you get that adjusted you're going to want to tighten down the hardware tighten down the three mounting points it'll be all set if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and again this is available from skillard.com